Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Valerie Kime, in case anybody is new here. This is just gonna be kind of a thrown together vlog, a little bit of everything, which is kind of how I've been rolling lately and I kind of like it, not gonna lie. Someone has the hiccups. You gonna smile? Are you gonna smile? Yeah. Are you a happy boy? Are you happy? <laughs> You're funny. I'm probably going to go to a couple thrift stores. I'm just going to hang out here for the most part. Otherwise, that's kind of the plan today. And I'm not sure if I'll finish the vlog today or a different day or what it will be. And I'm filming with my phone today. So it might be a little bit less, a little bit worse quality. So I apologize for that. But it's just easier to use my phone when I'm out and about. And it has just occurred to me, I don't think I've given you guys a tour or anything of the camper. So you come in the front door. And here it is. <laughs> That's the end of the tour. <laughs> Just kidding. No, this is the little kitchen here. We got our heater and my espresso machine that yes, I did bring all the way from Ohio. We have a little kitchen table and this is the couch that folds out into a bed. And this is where Mateo sleeps at night. He looks so scared right now. <laughs> then you come back here and here is our bathroom. Got a nice little shower on this side and then this is our room. Mateo takes his naps on our bed here. He's got his little changing station. So it's it honestly works out really good. So he doesn't like when I let him lay by himself for too long. He likes to be with me. Do you like to be with me? Hey. Being a happy little guy. Are you happy as long as mom's holding you? Is that it? Mwah. Yeah. What do you have to say? Thrifting with a baby is just a whole other level of, I, I don't know what. It is, it's interesting. That went pretty good. He got, he's, Mateo's getting kind of tired, so he's falling asleep in the back seat, and I paid for my stuff and just got out of there so he could fall asleep before I go on to the next one. This one's a really neat one, the World's Attic Thrift Shop. If you're local to the Sarasota area or if you're on vacation and you like to thrift, this is a good one. They have so many cute, like, tan items, boho things, and if I would live around here, I would want to get some furniture pieces, but obviously we can't take that home with us, so it's a good one if you want to check it out. Like such an idiot. I just circled and circled and circled the parking lot trying to find a parking spot. I'm not sure why they're so busy, but this Goodwill is packed. But it's a huge Goodwill. This is the one I'm at. I don't know. I really don't know where I am. I'm just <laughs> roaming the streets looking for Goodwills. You can see me in the mirror. I'm filming with my phone, but somebody is sleeping. You can see him back there. I'm so glad he fell asleep. I don't know if you could tell from the videos that I took in there, but oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever shopped in a thrift store when it was so full. And let me tell you, never again. I spent probably as much time in line as I did shopping. And it took a while to shop just because there were people everywhere. And I stood in line for a good 20 minutes. It was, yeah, I like the things that I got because I did get something that we needed, but so I stayed in line, but I debated about just leaving. But then I was like, you know what? I'm not in that much of a hurry. Mateo is supposed to eat in like a half, no, 40 minutes. So I did have some time, but I did get some caramel corn when I was in there because I got so hungry standing in line. And he woke up and he was getting a little bit fussy in line. So I was kind of worried about that, but he ended up doing okay. All right, we are back home from thrifting. I ended up, I only went to two thrift stores. Um, I got home and I fed Mateo. He is now down for a nap back there. There I am. Hello. And this is slobber. I don't know. Is it normal for babies to start teething at two months? I think they can, but he's been slobbering so much and he's just kind of been 
fussy not horrible I really can't say he's fussy because compared to some babies he's not fussy at all but I've noticed he started chewing on his passy on his tongue and stuff like that so I just thought and he's slobbering a lot so I figured he's probably teething anyway that's beside the point I was going to show you guys what I got at the thrift store <laughs> gonna start over here I got this little this is at the second one I went to this is a glass mug and I looked at it closely and saw it had these little trees on it so I thought it was adorable I love glass mugs here I got a little wooden salad tongs super cute and I got this really cool candlestick holder I just think it'd be a really cool statement piece a decor piece it's so pretty and then I ended up getting a set of queen sheets because we needed some more at home anyway. And what I don't understand, these are $25.99, but I got all of this stuff for $26. I'm not really sure how that happened. I should look at my receipt. Maybe something was on major sale or something, which I don't know, but it's cool. Then over here, this was at the first one we went to. I got this black and gray leopard skirt and this little sweater for Mateo. He has one that looks kind of like this, but he's about... It's about too small for him. So I got this one. That is the majority. Oh, and then of course I got my kettle corn here. Oh, and by the way, look at this pretty puzzle I'm doing. Don't you just want to jump inside that picture and live in there? <laughs> I got the frame done and I'm really enjoying sitting down, taking a slow, a slow day and just doing a puzzle. Puzzles and coffee. That's my kind of relaxing afternoon, I tell you what. I look so forward to nap times because ugh, I can just sit and do nothing. Well, okay, not nothing. I always have to do stuff, do some, there's always something to do while he's napping. But I don't think I'm gonna vlog anymore today because I don't really have anything that I'm doing that's gonna be worth vlogging. So I guess we'll see where this video picks up. Bye for now. Okay, we're back to the vlog. It has been a little bit since I picked it up, but I can't remember which day it was when I vlogged last, but I'm actually getting ready to go out with some of my friends tonight. Mateo is coming with us. And one of my friends is from here and the other friend is from South Carolina. She's down for the weekend. So we're gonna go have some fun. I think we're gonna go out to eat, maybe go to Target, some stuff like that and play it by ear with this guy. I'm hoping he does good. This is the first time I've gone on like a girl's night and taken him with, so yeah, it'll be interesting. I've got my clothes, or his clothes, hanging there to dry. I'm trying to get him to get tired because it's almost his nap time and I want him to sleep a little bit before we go. So he's getting there. He's kind of restless and just needing to sleep, but he hasn't gotten there yet. <laughs> Nobody at all asked for this, but I thought I would give you guys a puzzle update. Today I did the horse and all of this all over here missing some pieces here but guys this is one I'm serious it's probably one of my most favorite pastimes like when it's just slow and I don't have anything going love it <laughs> Something that I have figured out with living in a camper is that a way to make it feel so much bigger is if I keep things clean, like the dishes clean. If I, I hate when I have to have laundry all over the place because it just makes it feel a lot smaller and more cluttered. So it always makes it feel so much nicer when the dishes are done and dried and put away. By the way, these things are incredible. The Lily's Dark Chocolate Butter Cups. They're like Reese Cups, but they're sweetened with stevia. If you want a good sugar-free snack for a sweet tooth, these I would highly recommend. <laughs> we are coming to the end of our vlog, and I need to update you a little bit because... I have just, it's ridiculous how I literally forget to vlog when I go places. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So I think I got a little clip of when we, when I went out with my two friends, we went and got Thai food. We went to Target and we got some coffee and we just browsed Target. We had such a good relaxing time. And I kid you not, except for that time in the restaurant, it never dawned on me to get my phone out and vlog. And there were some 
really good things that happened that it would have been so fun to vlog and yeah yours truly just botched that one up last night chip and i actually went on our first date since having mateo our first date by ourselves um we've gone out as a family before but anyway so yesterday was a really fun day my sister-in-law and i went and took coffee to our husbands they were working together so we went and got starbucks for them and went to see them at work a little bit and then me and her did a little bit of shopping and i have to show you some things that i got at carter's we went to carter's and tj maxx yeah and we went to this really cool Mexican place and got some food too. But I have to show you these two adorable little outfits that I got from Mateo at Carter's. They were having a huge semi-annual sale the same day that we were there. So it was pretty cool. Look at these. Are you joking me? Little sheep all over them. They are just the cutest things. I love the colors and the tones of this one. It's so cute. And then I got him this little tie-dye romper absolutely in love with this one i love tie-dye stuff but i don't have any of it i just love this subtle tie-dye but these are in i think size yeah they're both in size six months because i feel a little torn about getting him stuff that he's in now because i know he's just gonna outgrow it so fast like i saw this really cute little romper i wanted to get so badly but they only either had size three months which is what he's in or size nine months and I didn't really want to spend money on something that he's barely going to be in so I just didn't get that one but <clears throat> these are the two that I got and seriously so cute I also got this at TJ Maxx so I got this I had a gift card actually for TJ Maxx for my mom and I got this really pretty like woven almost linen style feather pillow I am so excited to use this at home because I'm hoping to do some fun updates in our room or just in our house at home. I have so many lately. I've just had so many inspiring ideas and I will actually show you an Instagram account that has been inspiring me so much lately. Um, I'll put it up on the screen here, but I have just been absolutely loving it. It's my style to a T and I'm trying to do what I can to get my house more that direction. So I'm hoping to do some updates, which stay tuned for those. That will be when we get home from Florida, obviously, but I got that throw pillow for um, our bedroom because there's some things I want to do in our bedroom. And obviously when you redo stuff like that, it takes time to get your house to the style that you want. I mean, goodness, we've been married two and a half years and I feel like it still is not really, really where I want it, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah, so then anyway, Chip and I went on our first date. We had so much fun. Um, we went and did all the things that we did the night we got engaged. So we went to River House, which was so fun. We ate supper out on the water. Then we went and got Starbucks and then we went to the beach and it was sunset and it was just the perfect, perfect weather. I'll insert some pictures and maybe little videos, things like that. Um, just had a really incredible time and several people were asking me, wasn't it just so hard to leave Mateo and all of that stuff? And yes, it is hard. And I, he was literally always on my mind, like in the back of my mind. I tried to, I tried so hard to stay present, but um, yes, he was always kind of on my mind. But honestly, prioritizing time with just your spouse after your baby is so important because I feel like Chip and I have not been able to do that very much lately. Obviously, it's just the stage of life we're in. It's kind of the way it has to be for a while, but I ended up just pumping. I have a little bit of milk stashed in the freezer, so I left some bottles with his Chip's mom, and he did really good with the bottles. He was a little bit fussy for a while, but it ended up being okay. But yeah, it was just so good to spend quality time with just Chip and I again. We had a ton of fun and yeah I just thought I would end the vlog here with this little update sorry that I didn't get any videos from that because that would have been fun stuff to vlog and I'm very sad and mad at myself because oh I had such high hopes for this video <laughs> anyway if you guys have ideas of things you'd want me to vlog or video while we're in Florida I've kind of been struggling to come up with some ideas of what to film so if you have any suggestions leave those in the comments and as always thank you guys for watching today's video i appreciate your support don't forget to like it and subscribe if you're new i'd love to have you stick around so we'll see you next week in my video on wednesday bye